Hey Rollers, at my most recent tournament, I faced Scott. I knew I had to watch out for his youthful speed, but I was shocked to find out about another one of his attributes later in this match. Things started out normal enough with both of us circling and looking for inside position. I found a collar tie and then I swam inside for an underhook. He caught me with my head low and snapped on a quick front headlock and dragged me to the ground. When he tried to transition to a guillotine I stood up, but he snapped me down again and scored a 2 on 1 grip on my left arm. This was a miserable position and I was trying to get out of it without giving up an easy back take. I thought my best chance was to get back to my feet but he did a great job of knocking away my base. I eventually conceded the takedown and landed in butterfly guard at the price of 2 points. I saw an opening to attack his left arm with a Kimura grip and Scott used my focus on this to advance to mount. I had to fight and pry quite a bit but I managed to pull his arm out and start applying the Kimura. I was ready for him to try to step over but I kept on torquing his arm until it got to this impossible angle. Who can put their arm this far back? I can't reach most of my back and Scott is almost touching the back of his own head. The defense for this is to roll through but fortunately I was ready to catch his head with my legs and get the tap. I was still baffled how he withstood that disgusting angle but he was clearly okay and he proved to be a great sport. Be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. And stay tuned to my channel if you want to see me tangle with a beast in the absolute division of this tournament. Thanks for watching.